the LEOP phase, that's the launch and early orbit phase, that takes us from separation of the satellite from the launcher to its target orbit. That's the geostationary orbit, which is 36,000 kilometers above the equator. We make this uh, orbit change by using the onboard propulsion system of the satellite, executing a series of maneuvers. Once we get to the final orbit, we need to align the satellite spin axis with the Earth's rotation axis and prepare Severi for the in-orbit testing phase. Then we transfer control from the ESA control center to Humitsat control center in a process known as the handover. So at handover, the MSG-4 spacecraft will likely be approximately 36,000 kilometers over the Atlantic Ocean, roughly aligned with the equator, drifting along the equator in the direction of Europe. After taking control of the MSG-4 spacecraft, the EMITSAT will conduct a series of commissioning tests on the spacecraft. This will include precisely measuring the quantity of fuel on board the spacecraft, stopping the spacecraft drift at 3.4 degrees west longitude, testing the electronic RF equipment, switching on the communications and imager payloads, and conducting custom and long-duration imaging with those payloads. The spacecraft will then be placed into in-orbit storage and the final acceptance review is held. Uh, the LEOP phase normally lasts about uh, 10 days and the commissioning phase lasts between six weeks and three months. <laughs>